Now we've got extension 3410 right here on our trusty GRP 2614 phone, and I've got my extension running on my Connect mobile app. I'm just going to dial up my direct extension. And I'm getting a call from the GRP 2614 phone. I'll answer that. And now we're and now, connected. In fact, we even got a little bit of feedback there. And just like that, I'm making and taking calls on my mobile phone, uh, my iOS or my Android device, just like I'm sitting at my office. In fact, I don't even need an office. This could be my office right here. Hi, this is Chris Baxent, and thanks for checking out our Connect mobile app demo and review video. We're going to be diving deep into the functionality and the demonstration of the Connect mobile app and walking you through kind of the ins and outs of the product and how it could benefit you and your business uh, for everyday business use and communication, both inter-office and with people who you do business with in the community. All right, so the Connect mobile app is a mobile app that's available for all Voice One Cloud customers. It comes complimentary as part of the Voice One Cloud subscription. And uh, believe it or not, you can jump over to accentvoice.com and check that out and actually sign up online uh, for as little as $14.99 a month and get started with not only the Connect mobile app, but its companion app, the Connect desktop app as well. Both apps provide a full suite of unified communications services, including chat, file sharing, VoIP calling, uh, call recording, and a wide variety of other services. And today we're going to be focusing on some of those, but primarily through the uh, mobile version of the app. Uh, the mobile app and the desktop app are very similar in nature. They have a lot of the same functions and a lot of the same user experience. And many of our other videos focus on a lot of the desktop apps and desktop hardware, but for this one, we wanted to focus specifically on the mobile version. I've got my iPhone here today. The mobile app is available for iOS and Android devices, both phones and tablets. So if you've got an iOS or, a tab, uh, or iPad or iPhone, if you've got an Android phone or an Android uh, tablet, you can download uh, the Connect app from your app store and you can get started if you've got a Voice One Cloud subscription and uh, or if you don't have a Voice One Cloud subscription, as I mentioned previously, jump over to accentvoice.com, set yourself up one, and then you can get started making and taking calls through the Connect app immediately. Okay, so what does the Connect app do for businesses? Uh, we're gonna actually fire it up right here. You're gonna see it here on the screen momentarily as I bring up my own app. All right, so there you see it. That's the Connect app. That's the dial pad you're looking at right there. And if I jump over to the menu, you're going to see on the left-hand side, we've got a lot of different features. And the Connect app is the user's full unified communication experience right on the mobile device. From the top down, we've got recent activity, contacts, channels, the dial pad, which we're currently on, call history, voicemail, settings and at the very bottom you can log out of the app as well. And just by touching any one of those options you're going to navigate to that section of the app and be able to interact with it. Uh, I really like recent activity as it shows me a real-time stream of everything that I've been doing on the app whether it be chats with individuals or groups, uh, file sharing, uh, phone calls, etc. and it gives me a nice real-time rundown of a mix of all of my different communications. Now if I want to go a little more directly to a specific communication, I just open up the menu again and I can go to contacts and I can directly talk to anybody in my organization. Now here this contact screen by default is your business contacts for your organization, so it's your corporate phone book. However, I can easily integrate my personal phone book just by clicking the little plus button up at the top and either adding that user directly or adding that person, that contact directly, or clicking search and contacts and finding somebody with the search 
it was actually a contact on my device. I can add people directly from my iPhone or my Android device directly into the app. Pretty nice there to integrate both your personal and your, your company contacts into one place for calling. A unique element of the mobile app, the Connect mobile app, I should say, is the channels feature. Channels is group and team communication. And channels are based on topics or the group's uh, unique name. And if you've ever used Slack, it's very similar to Slack channels in that regard. And these are multimedia channels that allow for file sharing, chat, and collaboration sessions, even on the desktop, desktop sharing. And I've got my demo channel right here that I can jump into. And from here, you can see some chats that I've had going on, some files that I've shared, and I can just uh, send a, a note to the group here. Just say, hey, demo group. Great job on the video. I can send that. And then that's posted out to the group. And any of those channel or group members, they see that, they can get that in real time. They can message me back as well. Wherever I am, whether it be if I'm on my mobile app or if I'm on my desktop app, uh, or if I'm logged in via even a web browser or my tablet, I'll be able to see that message and respond back to them as well. Pretty cool. The dial pad is your standard uh, functional phone dial pad, much like uh, either your iPhone or your, your Android device's own dial pad, or you know, maybe you've got some experience with a mobile app using a VoIP soft phone or something like that in the past. So this app just allows me to dial up whoever I want to speak with. I've got extension 3410 right here. I'm going to give them a call. I've got the call going right here. It's ringing. For a second, it's going to ring 3410. There we go. It's Chris Cameron calling. I'm going to answer that. We're connected. I'll just mute it so we don't get any feedback here. Mute this guy as well. Now we're talking. You can see it here on the video, the screen capture as well, and on the extension. So we're making a live call here, and very easily I can do things like transfer this call, I can put it on hold, and, you know, I could bring up uh, chat and messaging if I actually wanted to chat or send this user a, if they were sitting at their desk, I could actually send them a, a message or a, a video or a multimedia file, a document, whatever I wanted to, right there as we were having a conversation. Uh, I can also, if I'm, if this user is on their desktop or on their mobile app as well, I can even escalate this to a video call. And so we can do just like a FaceTime or a video call that you might be familiar with on mobile. That's mobile to desktop and desktop to desktop. It's pretty powerful there. Let's just hang this call up. All right. Diving into the menu and the next option below dial pad is our call history. And you can see on my call history, got a lot of calls to uh, the demo phone here, amongst some other users as well. And the call history is nice because it gives me quick access to people that I've been talking to recently. I can easily just dial up that user right there, call them right back if I want to. Now on the menu right below the Call history option is the voicemail, and this is your visual voicemail, which actually allows you to interact with and listen to voicemail messages that uh, land right on your extension. And here you can see I've got a message pulled up. This is from Steve Luther. He's one of my coworkers. I can play this message. I could call Steve back, take a look at the uh, date and duration, and delete this message as well. So we're just going to delete this here from Steve. We've already heard this message. and it's deleted. Now one of the benefits of working with Accent with the Voice One Cloud is we also take all of your voicemails and we transcribe those and send them to you via email, which is a pretty cool enhancement to the Connect Mobile app as well. And our users receive that in their email that they have the Connect Mobile app alongside if, they, if need be. Uh, lastly, settings just gets you into uh, some of the particular app settings. Users can tweak and, and change settings if need be. Uh, to fit some of their specific needs. Mobile apps are really popular with a lot of cloud providers and unified communication services today. But one of the practices that I'm not a big fan of is the idea that some providers want to charge the customer extra to utilize a mobile app or a desktop app on their uh, laptop or even a tablet. And um, for me, in today's cloud market, I think the mobile app and the desktop app that provide that unified communications experience is kind of table stakes. If you're not providing that as part of your core product, as part of your base offering, you're really uh, short-sighting the customer 
and not providing the experience that the provider should. And as a customer, if your provider is not offering you a mobile or a desktop app as part of their base subscription, you should really look to uh, find a, another offering that will include that as part of the core service. So that's our walkthrough and review of the Connect mobile app. I want to thank you for checking this video out and taking the time to watch and walk through the Connect experience on iOS for today's video. Remember, the Connect mobile app is available on both iOS and Android devices. And there's also a desktop app available. Uh, to learn more, you can check out AccentVoice.com, where you can sign up for the Voice One cloud service and get access to the Connect mobile and desktop app, along with a variety of rich communication services. And you can get started for as low as $14.99 a month. That includes the mobile and the desktop app access with all of the great features you've seen here today. And this is Chris with Accent. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you feel so inclined, give this video a like. Even subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Accent Voice, where we have a variety of VoIP and telecommunications and cloud services based uh, product videos, topics, discussions, news, analysis, etc. Thanks for watching and remember to check back often for new videos. Uh, we're getting, getting a lot of content out there on a regular basis, uh, several videos a week usually, so make sure you come back or even hit that bell for notifications when we upload a new video. Thanks everyone, we'll talk to you soon.